Hey y'all, Carsonville Diggers. It's a little chilly today. <laughs> you can see that. I'm bundled up. Hey, I got my bag. Got my bag all set up. I think I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna break it in today. Got my AT Pro and got my MS3 headphones. Really liking them with that Z-Link. <clears throat> We're gonna try a little stretch of woods here. It's right near this school. There's a stretch of untouched woods right beside it. Going all the way down. I'm going to start on that corner. I'm going to go back in that area. A little cabin fever. i got to get out a little bit. But I always kind of wondered back in these woods. And, and you just never know. So we're going to kind of work it a little bit and uh, see what happens. So if I come up with anything, I'll have a, I'll show you, okay? And uh, we'll have some updates on any of our finds. All right, let's get doing it. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> As I starting out, I ain't even got to the woods yet, and uh, had a machine on it kind of clicked on. I uh, got it on eighty eighty two. I kind of figure it's a penny, and it was just uh, about an inch below surface. It was a surface find, pretty much. That's why we had a little uh, nineteen eighty two. It's a Lincoln Memorial. I still first find on a chilly day. Burr I tell you, man. I don't see how some of you people do it. I want to go make me a pot of beef soup and just go home and be warm indoors. But I love what I do. So, all right, let's move on. We're going to be in Pro Zero today. I'm running my iron discrimination at 27. Just to kind of let you get an idea. If I start hitting more coins, if there's coins here, then I'll just go straight to coin mode and stick with that. I'm going to give a few artifacts a chance to pop up, but I don't want to get everything. All right, I'll check back. Okay, I hit a 30 and 32. Normally, I don't do those strong numbers, but I tell you, as you... Uh, seen in one of my previous videos sometimes you need to do what normally you don't do <clears throat> sometimes if i find trash in a hole i'll just go ahead and bury it and when i didn't do it and i kept searching i found those any head pennies so about two inches down sun's real bright i don't know how this phone is doing but i got something in a hole and i'm right on it Looks like iron, but I don't know what it is. It's got a curvature to it. Might just be a piece of pipe, but we're gonna try to dig this up and just see what it is. We're curious. I'll come back to you. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, I got out of the hole. Could have been a spring maybe it's a little flat on that one side gonna keep it though yeah, that's the first find sometimes it pays to pick up some of them iron signs or uh, signals all right let's keep going let's keep moving we got a big chunk of land to work okay i came back from that direction following along with this bottom mess and i'm right at the back door to a barber shop I used to work at 
I realized it was this close. Man, in the winter time, I could have walked here. <laughs> I'm not far. I'm not far. I'm in that direction home. About a mile at the very most. Be even that far. Looks like it's really floods a lot around here. There's a lot of debris that's collected. A lot of a lot of little pits could be garbage we're going to check out that around that big rock right over there looks like when this area was uh, constructed this was kind of more of a dump but one thing i've kind of noticed and i don't know where it started to go across or exactly where but if you look there's a slope it grades down and it goes back up it's kind of consistent And it goes way on up there. Almost looks like that could have been a road. Doesn't look like it was uh, any kind of runoff created by runoff. It's too, it's too flat in the middle. It's too straight. Looks like that could be a road. We're going. I'm gonna work the banks a little bit up on that, and then we might go and try to hit around some of these big trees. Haven't found nothing else. It's kind of quiet, but it's fun. That's what it's about. All right, I'll check back with you. Okay, I'm hitting a strong. It was a good strong 80, 82. Yeah, probably made you dizzy on that. Anyway, we're gonna see how deep this thing is. It's about two inches of sand. Sorry for the angle, it wasn't that good. Okay, it's probably a penny. We're gonna try it. Okay. Okay, we got it. It looks like it's a little bit too big to be a penny. I'm thinking it's debris. I'm thinking a piece of tin. Let's see what we got. Well, found out what it was. I never seen nothing like that before. It says K butter. Wait. That says butter. That says K K price. Some kind of drink, carbonate of water, sugar, sweeteners, car, caramel color. Never seen nothing like that before. I don't know what that stuff is, K butter. <laughs> God, I got enough fattening things going on me. I sure don't want to eat butter. But anyway, all right, let's check a hole. I got 49, 50, 52. Stand about steady. When I'm going back and forth, I'm standing in the low 50s. Could be a nickel. 
get up around here and I'm good so I'm pretty isolated and we're shallow so let's try it I'm really starting to hit lower a lot of lower numbers now I love coins I love finding old relics too. Let's see if I forgot what that thing was. Okay, right there. All right. X marks the spot. Well, I'll come back. Okay, my pen pointer had me right here. So just made my first incision it's a shallow so this dirt is really loose so I'm not gonna worry too much about about my plug here let's see what we got not it it's awful big I'm thinking it's probably a can let me pause it well first of all it's a Peters Victor 12 gauge part of an old shell that's been out here for a little while because you can't shoot here in city limits. So this is way before this area was developed. Probably even before that area where I used to work when this is all open. So that's pretty old. We'll, we'll hold on to that. Okay, 50-52, about two inches down. Pulled my plug, popped it over there. Picked it up. Pen pointer is indicating something. And I seen the little piece of round, but I got a feeling I haven't looked at yet. There's a worm. I guess I better hurry up, get it, whatever it is, before he gets it right. Get out of my way. Go in the hole. There you go. Go make babies. I think that's another shotgun shell. Yep. Another shell. I wonder if it's the same, same kind. Hold on, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, one thing for sure. That was an old paper, paper shell, I think. It wasn't plastic. Not, not nothing modern. Kind of unique. It's a shotgun shell. It's an old one. It says number 12. New club. What is that? UMC.CO like company. Sure looks like a a firing cap in the middle. That's kind of unique. I think that's old. Well, this has to work. Check it out later. Interesting. Bag is working good. My wife did good. Proud of it. Yeah, today uh, it seems like we're going more for for metal, for iron. I'm not really getting no coins, so 
I'm searching a little bit lower on my signals. Find some interesting stuff. Well, let's keep going. Add another shallow. Again, it was in the low, middle 50s. Kind of bounced around a little bit in the 40s. And I found it in there, and I've been cleaning it up on. Man, that really sounds so redneckish. Anyway, I've been cleaning it. And you can't tell. But right there where my finger's tapping, there's a 10. Oh, it's right there. There's a 10 right here. And I'm suspecting that was an old 10 gauge shell. Cool. Well, we're finding old relics. All right, let's keep moving on. I'm getting hungry. I've been getting a lot of 47s, the 50s, the early 50s. And sure been finding a lot of these shotgun shells. And here's another one, another old one. Same kind. It says new club. Twelve gauge UMC UMC Company Number Twelve. Those are some old ones. Earlier I got me a federal. That was the first halfway modern one I had. That's cool. I guess this is a day for shotgun shells. We're gonna eat Chinese tonight. I didn't realize that. I told the wife, I said, we're gonna we're gonna go eat a Chinese. No. <laughs> eat some Chinese food. I don't think the people would taste very well. Okay. We're gonna i I'm gonna check that hole again and cover it up. I'm gonna move back this way, go down along that little wash and I'm gonna call it a day. Okay, we're gonna do a wrap up. Got home and fix and go get us something to eat. Found a few things and a piece of light tin. I threw an awesome signal, but I kind of figure it was junk. Piece of wire that I dug up. I wasn't gonna put it back. Little little screw, and it's a hex head, so it's new top of a can or something and dispose of properly and please don't litter <laughs> I don't think people follow those rules anymore but that's just junk one thing did find a little interesting this is a root beer can Got the symbol K. It's got price cutter. It's all bent up. That's root beer. And it's not the old flimsy aluminum cans. This is a heavy duty metal. And I can't find no information online about it. I don't know. It's all folded, but. R O O and the T is in there, right there. And beer. Okay, here's the interesting stuff. Okay, apparently this was some kind of a spring. You can see the way the flat head that fits up against a frame of something. But it's small. It's not a big spring, so it's interesting. Apparently there's a whole lot more because it coiled up. You can see it just broke off. Okay, had a few uh, Lincolns. Now this is interesting. I went and soaked these in a little bit of 
water. I meant uh, oil. And this says... UM UMC.CO number 12 down below says new new club I've done research on this these shells are dated the new clubs are dated from 1867 to 1911. UMC stands for Union Metallic Cartridge Company. It was founded in 1867. Probably a little bit better one right there. It was founded in 1867 and 1911 they merged with Remington. And these things, they had a paper casing. And that's, that's paper that's all inside that still. It's still got the paper. That's pretty cool. That's an old shell. So I had, I found, found three of them. And this here is a Peters Victor made in USA 12 gauge these I uh, researched and they're dating between the 1940s and 1950 that's pretty cool though still got the little primer in it and this is the Federal Monarch number 12 and these are basically dating around uh, the 40s and 50s. And still got the, the center fire. Still got the, the cap there. Now this is uh, another one. And this is pretty interesting. If you can see, it's got the letter E and it's got the letter B. And on these shells, there are three stars. Below here is the word London. And I barely got the end on it. And this is a 10 gauge. There's a letter 10 right there. And people say when you got these, you see the EB, you hold on to them. And it's still got the the pin these are pin fire shells and the EB is for Eli brothers they're of London England back during the Civil War they were supplying the Confederacy with ammo so this I say This is Civil War era. That's a Civil War era shotgun shell. That's a pin fire shotgun shell and there's still a little bit of the paper white or cork or whatever that is around there inside. I was cleaning a lot of that out and it's still got the pin fire intact so that's pretty cool well that's it for the wrap up and we're gonna get on with the rest of the movie start putting it together y'all have a blessed night